to Sydney, Australia for the 2000 Paralympics. I'm Bree Walker-Lampley. For the last seven nights, we've followed some of the world's finest athletes who, for one reason or another, have physical conditions that society terms disabilities. But all these athletes refuse to let their conditions slow them down, either in sport or in life. They push themselves to their athletic potential, reach the pinnacle of international competition, and yet still find it within themselves to give something back to others. Here's the story of one such athlete. For much of his life, John Register was one of the world's fastest men. He earned a scholarship to Arkansas, where he picked up three All-America honors. Register even qualified for the Olympic trials in 1988 and 1992, finishing as high as 17th in the 400-meter hurdles. Entering his athletic prime, Register was aiming for Atlanta. But on May 17, 1994, as Register was training for a meet in Kansas, his Olympic plans changed with one wrong step. And when I came down, came down short again, but the leg hyperextended. And then as I fell forward, it cracked and bent to the inside. And I wound up, you know, falling down. So this leg was straight out and this leg was over at the knee and up about right here and the foot kind of pointed back towards my face. I said, hallelujah, I, I screamed it. Register hyperextended his knee and broke his leg. Worse, he'd severed an artery. Surgeons couldn't reconstruct the artery, leaving Register and his wife Alice with a choice. Doc came in and gave him a decision and said, well, you know, you can keep the, le the limb, but you're going to be in a walker or a wheelchair for the rest of your life or on crutches or something to assist you getting around with your uh, mobility or you can take an amputation. With the support of his family, Register did move on, adjusting to life on a prosthetic limb and returning to work in the U.S. Army. As part of his rehabilitation, Register began lifting weights and swimming. Just two years later, he swam in the 1996 Paralympics. It was there Register first hatched the idea of running again. I saw a lot of the athletes out there competing on these, on these artificial limbs, and I said, I think I can get out there and do that as well. So in 1998, Register returned to the track, intent on qualifying for the U.S. team in Sydney. A matter of slowly coming back on the track and really kind of developing the mindset, you got to learn to trust it all over again. You have to learn, it's, it's like a baby learning to walk again. At home and at work in the Army's Family Support Center, John uses his life experience to lift the morale of those whose dreams may be broken. In Sydney, following the world record jump of Lucas Christen, John's now the one who must chase after a dream. John's first jump is short, a full meter behind Christen's. On John's second jump, he receives the red flag, signifying a foul. With the competition winding down, John finds himself in fourth place. He came here expecting to win a medal, perhaps even gold. But that goal seems impossible now, until with one powerful leap, he catapults himself into second place. With silver secured, John refocuses on his original quest for gold, where he'll have to break a fresh world record to capture it. John's valiant attempts fall short. Christian takes the Paralympic long jump title, and though John Register didn't win gold, he returns home with silver and the satisfaction of never admitting defeat.